Hey, this is Clay here. Just want to let you know we're having a hundred dollar sweepstakes going on, and any subscriber can win. All you have to do is subscribe. And remember, if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. Hey, good afternoon, YouTubers, Facebookers, party people alike. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and this is the Clay Way. And today, this is most certainly the Clay Way because I could not find torque specifications for this 4.4 Land Rover engine that we're putting head gaskets in and brand new bolts. If this in. video is helpful, please consider clicking the notifications down below, subscribing to the page, sending me your nice comments. If you got a question for me, hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on Facebook. I'll be happy to try to answer them if I possibly can. And remember, if anyone else can do it, you can do it too. So I'm along here with Jeff Pawi and him and I have been talking. Mostly Jeff came up with this. Uh, we couldn't find the specifications for this engine. Of course, we could have called the dealership and stuff like that. Uh, and we tried that, but they wouldn't give us any information without paying them $125 for it. So we decided that that's not the route we're gonna go. We're just gonna use what's called common sense. Now I know common sense isn't that common nowadays, <laughs> but when I explain to you what we did, why we did it and everything else and tell you about the bolts that we're using and stuff like that, I'll explain to you the torque specification. Okay, so the Land Rover bolts originally are 175 millimeters long. They've got a 1.5 pitch on the thread and they're a 10 millimeter bolt. Now we've got a brand new bolt right here and we've got the old bolt right here, which was a 13 millimeter to take that thing out. And if you look at the two bolts, you can visually see that one is longer than the other. Not much longer, only about a 1.6 millimeters longer is what our micrometer came up with. So these bolts were stretched out. And when we went to originally put these bolts back in, we were going to reuse these bolts. We knew they were torqued to yield, but we're cheap. <laughs> so it wouldn't work. We would and do new Land Rover bolts were two hundred dollars. Another turn at fifty and tried to get to sixty, and our torque wrench would bottom out, and we have a sweet torque. Okay, wrench. so I got the bolts from World Pack, and that's the numbers and stuff for them. And then this is the part number that I got from them. Hopefully that's so. Up. Here's our torque wrench. We spent about $750 on this torque wrench, and from time to time we get it recalibrated so we don't think it's out of spec. We made, we made the first pass at uh, 30 foot-pounds, then did another pass at 50 foot-pounds, and then tried to do 90 degrees after that, and it wouldn't even make it to 60 foot-pounds. So something was hinky with the bolts that we had, so we got new ones. Assuming if you guys are already doing this job, you know how to tighten up bolts, working from the center out. You loosen them from the outside edge in. With that said, the first head that we've already done and we've got it all torqued down, we did a pass at. I'm sorry to leave this in here, but I'm waiting for Jeff to answer. What did we do the pass at? Still waiting for Jeff to answer. Still waiting for Jeff yeah. to answer. Looking okay. right at Jeff, him looking right at me, He's still not answering. All this right. is ridiculous. Now tell us what the torque, how you torqued it down. Oh, we're at 25, 35, then 90. Okay, 25 foot pounds on your first pass, 35 foot pounds on your second pass, and 90 degrees on your last pass. Not 90 pounds, 90 degrees. That way, it conditions the bolts to the metal and pushes it down and they felt rock solid. Okay. You like it, Jeff? Yeah, the other half you like it? perfect. You like it, Jeff? It you like good. it as much as the Kool-Aid man likes it? No. Okay. The Kool-Aid man's over there. You're supposed to say, oh yeah. Nah. He won't give us an oh yeah. That's gave terrible. You, gave you he oh said yeah, he gave right. us an oh yeah when we were removing the engine. But anyways, <laughs> so hopefully that's helpful for you guys. You can comment down below, let me know if you got a question and you want to know if this actually worked and if the head gaskets are still staying inside the truck, just give me an ask. Remember, if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. God bless. Have a great day.